upon a time, there were three young women who were living in the city of Kalaakan, named Jessica, Shala, and Patricia, who treat one another like sisters by blood. One day, Jessica, Shallow, and Patricia needed to attend a job interview on the same date, but within three different companies. The first interviewee was Jessica, and here is what happened. Good morning, Miss Jessica, and welcome to our company. Good morning, ma'am. Okay, so let's start, and then can you tell me about yourself? I am very well organized and professional in relation to the task that I undertake at work, and I am confident that I have a necessary strong work ethics, qualities, and determination to excel with this role or within this position. Okay, all right. And then why do you choose this company, Ms. Jessica? That was a good question. I have chosen your company to become operation management assistant for specific reasons. To be honest, during my research into your company, you have clear rules and guidelines in respect of how you expect your operation not only to run. This means if I become your operational manager, I will be able to perform my duties, responsibilities, which is something I prefer to do. That's good. But I want you to know what the success means to you, Miss Jessica. This is followed by an outline of how to set goals will be achieved. That's great, Miss Jessica. Thank you for your time, Miss Jessica, and you have impressed me to your answer. The second interviewee was Shello. Hello. Miss Shell Dalda, right? Yes, ma'am. All right. So, can you specify something that is not on your resume, Miss Shell? Yes, ma'am, and good afternoon. I am Shell May Dalde, and I graduated a uh, Bachelor of Science and Business Administration. After I graduated, I started up my career job in Brilliant Skin Essential Incorporation, where I work as a budget analyst. I am kind of curious, though, Miss Shell. Can you describe your current job to us? Yes, ma'am, and I want to work as a financial manager where I can connect to my past job, which is a budget analyst. As a budget analyst, I have a lot of skills such as I can make a budget proposal of the company, also estimate the financial budget. Uh, Michelle, what do you think is the most important skills when you're presenting a budget recommendation? I believe that the important skills is provide a budget plan. For you to know if how much the financial budget of the company will be released and how much income will come in the company. As we all know, a lot of people cannot handle tension and strain nowadays. Not tell me or ask rather your ability to work under pressure. I work well under pressure because I use this to help me work more efficiently. I work under pressure because it helps me to grow. And when I experience stress, I think it is an opportunity to challenge myself to handle this kind of problem. Okay, Ms. Shella, thank you for your time. And we hope to see you in our company in the future days. Then, the third interviewee was Patricia. So I think the three of you are already aware that we are from the HR and the management team. So let's start. So what do you have to offer to this company? Um, if you were given a chance, I can offer this company to have a unity and cooperation. Uh, because the more you work together, a job will be faster and, be, and it will be even better. For me, I can give my ability to focus. I'm so grateful to have that ability to focus because it contributes my ability to consistently meet the deadlines. My last job, I was involved in various innovation, including ways to improve teamwork. We are asked to conjure up ideas to facilitate better. Teamwork and communication, and my ideas were chosen as the best. What are your weaknesses, and how are you going to handle it in the workplace? For me, one of my greatest weaknesses is my general confidence. Every time I speak and present, I'm getting nervous, and I can hold feelings. Until the past year, I joined public speaking group, which we can exchange information, and it really helping me to boost my confidence. Um, for me, and I don't think too much those negative things that can hurt me and can lower my confidence. So to end this off, I want to know what does the three of you interest the most about? this position and why. I have a hard skills that you're looking for as a candidate. I know how to produce for it, this job. I'm a team player, I'm a collaborator, I'm a clear communicator. I'm looking for a company in the last few weeks ago, so I know you're looking for someone who can take ownership in that role. Um, my previous experience and success would help me to achieve some quick things in certain areas, including um, HR. I'm also excited this process of learning more about the HR. Okay, that's a wrap. Thank you for your time and we will see who is going to make it. Wow, you were pretty cool earlier. I agree. It's nothing guys. All you have to do is to really contemplate your thoughts in order for you to bring your utmost communication and critical thinking skills. In the end, Jessica, Shello, and Jerick showed an effective manner on how to execute the three types of interview, while Patricia had noticed her mistakes and will definitely use Jerick's strategy for her upcoming interviews in the future days.